Steve Minucci. Okay. Which number is this on the list? Oh, okay. So, as you recall, Donald Trump, part of what vaulted him to the top of the presidential pack was a dumb, dumb version of Pat Buchanan politics. And there was a lot of, and, you know, Breitbart and far right tabloidism, which is mostly about racism and xenophobia, but it also includes a lot of discourse on so called so called globalists, uh, which, of course, might also just really mean, you know, global emoji, globe emoji, globe emoji, the people with the horns. As, as Jamie is so helpfully <laughs> miming out over there. Um, and and what's um, and as we predicted that now when Trump's in office, uh, there will be, of course, no policy or commitments to helping the gutted working class. Obviously not of any race or any demographic in the country. But he was pretty sincere about the racism. Uh, and so you have to ask uh, people like Steve Minochin, okay, who is um, one of the worst people on the planet. Uh, grew up with everything handed to him and then made even more uh, by uh, profiting handsomely off of uh, foreclosures, essentially, um, and was really at the epicenter uh, of uh, the abuses that took place emanating out of the financial crisis and the housing bubble. And uh, he is on his way to Davos, and I believe Trump is going to Davos as well. Now, Davos would be like it's such a character of itself that it, it you know if you were writing it's sort of like specter except boring uh, a bunch of people meet in a swiss uh, resort town and talk about the future of the global economy the challenges of globalization and it really is a meeting of everybody from you know macron to angelina jolie will probably be there i mean that really is what the meeting is and it and it does in some ways uh, I, I talked to the anthropologist Scott Atron, who st sometimes speaks at Davos, and I'm glad he's there because he's brilliant. And he said, you know, like these people are, they're so connected and so powerful, and they're completely just disconnected from the present reality. Davos was really like designed for like the late 90s bubble period. Uh, and But it's still a place of tremendous power and certainly a meaning place of a lot of globalists. And they're going to ask Steve Mnuchin, how does going to this globalist summit fit with the uh, xenophobia and protectionist uh, rhetoric of the Trump gang. What is the uh, point of the Trump administration going to a place that is regarded usually as a hangout for globalists? Well, I don't think it's a hangout for globalists. I think the, the <laughs> idea is the economic team is going to go over and talk about the America first economic strategy. Uh, we're, we're thrilled that the president is coming, and I think what we know is that the economy that's good for the U.S. is good for the rest of the world. Yeah, I think it's the globalist meeting, okay? I remember I've been involved in many uh, 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 very difficult but very down-home sex trafficking negotiations there. I actually began the process to purchase my latest wife in a meeting at Davos, so it brings families together. And I wouldn't characterize it as a globalist meeting. That's the thing about Mnuchin. Mnuchin has no, uh, there's no flair or style to his lying. He just sort of is like, no, it's not. His mouth looks like a scarecrow's mouth where the <laughs> stitches got like ripped out, yeah, but then he like thing. still can talk. Now he's le just learning how to talk. <laughs> it's like he tries to talk without his lips touching each other. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, you got to conserve energy by not moving your lips, okay? Yeah. You know, I hope he gets cucked by Trump. Like, seriously. Yeah. Is that really the best piece you've ever had? Come on, Steve. <laughs> I know that you're very active in the hooker market. You know, I know that I know that Mnuchin would just be like, you know, I know what you're doing, Mr. President, and if uh, the girls from L.A. are here, I will go with you. And I don't care that my wife is hearing it. <laughs> Mnuchin's the type of guy who probably has already offered his wife to Trump, like in tribute. Like, I don't, I don't think it's going to be difficult with him. All right. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. 
head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.